Here we're going to take a look at how to build this incubator. Um, and here you'll see a list of the items necessary, a jumbo litter box, humidifier with a fogger tube, a heat lamp and bulb, fan for continuous airflow, a temperature and humidity control device, one that's automatic, and a manual temperature and humidity gauge for backup to confirm that's working properly, an oxygen tubing connector if you're are going to add an oxygen concentrator or nebulizer to the unit, you'll want a male-to-male -male connector, your bedding or blanket, um, a two-inch vent, a drill, a few small bolts and nuts, and a box cutter. Now here we are looking at the unit. And you will see the handle is left intact so it can be carried to the vet. The heat lamp is attached with two screws. The door opens as normal. Inside we've got our fleece and uh, foam pillow. Outside we have a humidifier with fogger tube. Our automatic control unit, a continuous airflow fan, and an oxygen tubing connector and vent. Now, as we open up and take a deeper look at this. You'll see that oxygen tube, we again don't have this connected to anything at this time. The heat probe, humidity probe, and the manual gauge. Now this is the manual gauge I was referring to uh, so that you can visually see that the control unit on the outside is working properly. And again, just that pillow, uh, you could use blankets or any kind of bedding that you wish. Now the control unit is set for 86 degrees Fahrenheit and 55% humidity. It is not that currently as it's all turned off. So when we turn this on, things should start automatically happening. The heat lamp comes on. It's going to begin heating. It's a 100 watt lamp bulb. And the humidifier or fogger did come on as well. We can confirm that it's working. And the fan in the back has also come on. Be very quiet. The alarms are going off because we're not at the current uh, set temperature of 86 and 55. And so we're seeing an alarm is very loud. Uh, going off currently until it reaches the desired temperature and humidity and shuts those units off. They are individually controlled. So heat and humidity will come on as needed to keep it at that controlled setting. I'm going to go ahead and shut that off now. Take a little look inside a little bit better. You see that uh, manual visual confirmation device. And the fan is also winding down. You'll see here and deeper connection of what this is. You've got that PC fan for continuous airflow, a manual gauge, humidity probe, temperature probe, and the oxygen tubing. Again, it's not currently connected to anything, but these are the proper placement with the vent added to the left for this unit to properly circulate air and heat and cool properly as well. The uh, fire tube is actually up in the top 
left, which is not on the screen, but it is up uh, just above this opposite of the fan. And there you have it.